this whole situation with um with Mav and what's going on, right? I didn't see the battle. I heard it was a dope battle. I heard Jag came in there. First of all, let's stop saying Jag is a is, is an industry rapper because he's not. Jag ain't never do nothing in the industry to save his life. So stop. Let's quit the bullshit. Don't so stop saying everybody that's not a bad rapper is an industry rapper. Alright? Alright? So let's let's let us let us stop that. Point blank. Let's not if, if a nigga don't say a nigga's an industry rapper because he just didn't battle in URL before. Alright? Thank you. Let's stop that. Please. Thank you. Thank you very much. Alright. And another thing we gonna do is we gonna stop saying niggas had classics. We gonna stop that. We gonna stop this whole classic shit and all that shit going on and everything like that. Alright? So we 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 gonna dead all that. Stop all this classic shit. Alright. I heard the battle was a dope battle though. I heard it was good. Um, I heard it was fire actually. I heard Jack came with some shit. I heard math was a very, very good math. Like math was fire. That's what I heard. You know what I'm saying? But fuck all that. I'm gonna get into the situation. Who said who the fuck is Jag? Yeah, exactly. You wouldn't know if if you wouldn't know. He that that's what I'm saying. Alright, cool. So they said a situation happened where math walked off the stage, right? Because Jag said something about the situation he had with the girl, um, you know, I don't want to say her name, but you know, with that situation he had with the girl and the girl tried to say he did son and, and blah, 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 whatever, whatever, right? Now, if y'all in battle rap, y'all know what I'm talking about. The girl Kiki, fuck it, I'm going to say it, said he, something happened and blah, blah, blah. All right, now listening to both of the stories, I don't believe it. Now, at first, I'm like, I don't know, because I don't put nothing past nobody. I knew Math for a very, very long time. I knew Math for about, maybe about 15 years or something like that. I still got to get all the evidence and everything before I say anything about anything. You hear what I'm saying? So, listening to both stories at the end and how shit just died down, I don't believe her. I believe math didn't do nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that's my and, and, and that's my opinion. I believe math didn't do nothing off of hearing everything I heard. Alright? I, I waited, I watched everything, I looked, I saw, boom, boom, boom. Alright, cool. I don't see from this going and it's dying down and that shit wasn't adding up. Nah, math ain't do that. Right? And I'm saying this to math. With that being said, if this shit ain't true. It shouldn't bother you. Don't let it. Why are you letting it bother you? You you know better than to walk off a stage during a battle that you're having. You should know from that alone. You're going you're going to get negative feedback, even if you won the battle. Because of that, you gave them a reason to say you lost, even if you didn't lose the battle. Am I right or am I wrong? I could be bugging. Just let me know if I'm bugging. This is my opinion. All right? Am I right or am I wrong? That's all I want to know. Oh, let me get a little more of that. So, with that being said, this is math we're talking about. Math, you done been through bigger shit than somebody saying something in the third round about a situation that everybody knows about. And you getting that mad and walking off the stage. All right? Now, Mav, if you want to holler at me, 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 me and you could talk, I'll even come to your show and we could chop it up on your show about it. But I still don't believe the girl. But as a, 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 a vet that been in this game for, for 12 years, that was a rookie move, period. It's no, it's no reason you should have walked off that stage. At all. At all. Just because he says something about that. Niggas need to learn how to hold a composure. Composure in battle rap is, 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 a, is a fucking attribute. It's an attribute you should have. Period. Alright? If you don't know how to hold your composure, a nigga could say something about you that's probably not even true. And if you do any little movement or look funny or get upset, it look like it's true. And I might be giving away too much right now. This is what I do. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all niggas say about me, what y'all say, nothing. That shit don't bother me. You know why? Because in real life, I'm good. I'm all right. I'm chilling. 
battle rap is his own world. I walk in the battle rap and I walk right back out that shit when I'm done battling and, and, and giving the fans what they want to see. When I go into my real life, I'm good. I'm excellent. You get what I'm saying? So nothing in battle rap should bother you that much. So I, math, I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you walking off. My nigga, you done been through shit in the street. I, I really know math, and this is why I'm saying this. You done been through way worse shit for, for that to get you like that, for you to walk off. And that's, that, that's just my p opinion on that. Um, like I said, I don't believe it. And I don't even know why you would let Jag get you that upset to walk off. It, you, you made all of us kind of look bad by doing that. Because now you now Jag is talking shit. You get what I'm saying? You let a nigga that that, that that come in and infiltrate what we do, and now you allowed him to be able to talk shit and say he won. Which I know, you know what I'm saying? Well, I didn't see the battle, but I heard Math was was fire, and I heard Jag was fire. But to say he won just because you walked off the stage and then you got the fans of battle rap now going against you because you did that. Right? So, I don't agree with that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, don't, I don't agree with that. And, 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 and that's just it. It's about learning from your mistakes, B. I did something in battle rap. I did, I did two things in battle rap. And I learned from both of those situations. And I will never do those situations again because I learned from it. You get what I'm saying? So... <sighs> That's that with that. Um, if y'all don't, I, mean, I don't really want to talk about Jack, but I heard I'm gonna talk about him because I heard he had a good round. I fought, well, I heard he had a good battle. The battle was fire. I watched it. I watched the interview with him. He looked like he do every drug that's possible. Jack looked like he do every drug: coke, dope. He do pills, go to sleep, wake up, then then do it all, in in a different order. Like I'm gonna just do the dope first, and then the coke, then the pills. He looks crazy. Like, I'm talking about crazy. Bugged out. If you think I'm lying, go look at him. He looks crazy. That, that is a fiend. I'm, I'm going to sit I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. I, I was in the streets. I dealt drugs before. I know what a fiend looks like or a person that does a bunch of drugs. He looks crazy. And I'm glad he got some money from ARP because maybe he can fix himself up a little bit and go get a haircut. All right? And, and, and that's that. But shout out to Jack because I heard he did amazing rapping and he's actually a good rapper he can rap he can rap i'm not gonna take that from me he can rap that's that boom all right so um with that being said <sighs> y'all drinking i hope y'all rolling up y'all smoking y'all drinking we good okay cool all right long, long, long as we doing that we good i hate this shit right here right, this right here i had i had a talk with caffeine about with this little the little headphone shit you see this this that i don't i'm not a gamer I don't play games. I don't sit here on my TV in front of the TV and play games. I don't want to talk to little white kids on a on a on a on a computer and about live and we playing ball. I don't want to do that. I don't need this shit right here. This I don't need. Okay, rip this off, take this off, give me another headset. Cool. <sighs> Battle rap talk. Oh yeah, they 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 didn't fucked up. They should have never let me come on here and be able to talk. Please, please. Why why I could just sit here and talk. Oh man, alright But this is just, oh, listen, this is just all my opinion How y'all feel is how y'all feel If y'all don't agree with me, cool If y'all do, then that's what's up Next topic we're going to talk about We're going to talk about Cortez And easy to block Alright Cortez, Cortez and easy to block Alright, let's talk about that Oh, we got the little 100 emoji in Let me see, let me see some emojis or something, man What's up? I don't know how that shit work. I gotta figure all this out, but I'm good. We and then this ain't scripted. We ain't doing no script shit neither. You know what I'm saying? There we go. What the fuck is that? Two hands. I don't. What's that? I'm I'm lost. Cool. Whatever. Cortez, right? Cor Hold on, real quick though. Let's talk about this. All right, y'all. Let me y'all. Y'all need to get a close up on this because I want. I just want to show y'all something. You see this? Get a close up. You see how that shit dance? You know why that shit dance like that? Because this is real. I'm tired of y'all niggas, y'all battle rap niggas with all this fucking fake jewelry. If you can't afford this shit, don't buy it. Y'all niggas make money. 
You get paid for battles. All right? Get, go get a real chain. Just put your money together. Do four or five. Y'all niggas do 20 battles a year anyway. Take fucking the money from all y'all battles. Put it together and go buy a fucking real chain, B. I'm tired of y'all niggas, man. Like, I'm really pissed. I'm upset. Like, I gotta really sit here and just, like... It, I'm sorry, man, because I just be... I'm sorry, bro. It's just... I'm tired of y'all niggas, man. For real. Don't come around me with no fake chains. You know why? You know why? You know what get me pissed? Because... And, and this is some real shit. Now I don't want to... This ain't talking money. But I'm in a jewelry. So I went, I went and spent 10000 for this chain, right? I paid 10 racks for this chain. I, I, I always wanted my, my, my shit on my neck. Nobody got it. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. I want to spend 10 racks on it, right? I go around to these other battle rap niggas that got all this fake jewelry on. And I look like these niggas. These niggas look like me. So I, I really went and spent money on this shit. Hard-earned money. These niggas went and spent $200 on a chain out the mall from in the middle of the mall. And we both sitting there looking alike. And to the stupid fucking fans or stupid chick, she, she thinking we both the same. She just looking at both of us like, oh, they got jewelry. No, bitch, I got jewelry. That nigga don't got jewelry. That shit is fake. I'm about to start hating. I don't care what the fuck y'all say. I'm, I, you know what? From now on, I'm hating, B. I'm hating straight up. I'm hating. If you sitting by me with a fake chain, I'm hating. If it's a chick there and she looking at both of us and she looking at both of us like, damn, you know, they look at that jewelry. I'm going to tell her your shit fake. I'm hating from now on. That's it. I'm hating. Fuck that. Fuck that. I'm going on the mic. Yo, listen. It's about two niggas in here. Jury, that's real. The rest of these shits is fake. Don't get fooled. I'm hating from now on. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. That's that. Can we drink to that? Amen. <clears throat> All right, but back on topic. Court says it's easy to block happen. Right? Oh, man. Um, let me say this. I had easy to block winning i had the battle zero zero one okay let me let, let me say it again for y'all i had the battle zero zero one all right so i had the battle zero <laughs> cortez and easy to block zero Cortez and easy to block. And one easy to block. He won the third round. All right. This is. This is. And I, I did a watch party that day. And everybody, all of us in there had it the same way. I'm not giving nobody no fucking rounds. I'm not doing it. Y'all niggas be giving niggas rounds too much. And then, yo, you know what I hate? Because nigga, y'all make it hard as shit for me. I go up there, I gotta face everything. Nish, that was not a good battle. Quit it. Get out of here. Um, I gotta go up there and face everything. So I'm not I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give y'all niggas no way out. The battle wasn't good to me. I don't care. It was good to y'all, wasn't good to me. It was it, it the, the first two rounds wasn't wasn't it. The third round, easy to block one. But let me say this though. Let me say this. You can't shit on Cortez all the way. And I'm going to tell you why. When, when somebody asks me who they got, I had Cortez going into that battle. I had Cortez going in that battle. I thought Cortez was going to win. The reason I thought Cortez was going to win was because Cortez is hard to beat because he's consistent. Cortez don't lose a lot of battles. So if you sit there and say Cortez lose a lot of battles, you're lying. Cortez don't lose a lot of battles. And he's consistent. I, I really only saw him choke this last time versus Nitty. You know, he probably stumbled before that, but it's not a lot. He's very consistent. So I really thought Cortez was going to win. All right? So even if you don't like him, you say you don't like his bars, you say he weak, whatever it is, he's consistent. And he's consistent enough to beat a easy to block. All right? So going into the battle, I really thought he was going to win. I had him winning. But let's not shit on Core too much. Like he did, he just didn't have a good performance against T Top. Um, I think that's the last one I saw with him against T Top and, and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And and he wasn't that bad against Nitty from what I saw. He stumbled and all that, but he got it back. You can't shit on him too much. Y'all y'all niggas be too quick to overly shit on a nigga that has been consistent though. 
So let's see what he do his next battle before we completely say, call you trash, fuck you, get the fuck out of here, you Puerto Rican little bottle girl, Cortez, I ain't gonna lie though. This is the problem, Cortez. You can't breathe no more. You too big. You, you, you are too big at this point. You're too, you, you, you are too, too, too big. But at this point, you can't breathe. Your beard don't connect. Like you see me, my shit's smooth. My, my shit, I didn't even know I could grow a beard. This is crazy to me. My shit cannot like a grown man. I'm feeling this. Kept it feeling like a fucking grown man. They feeling me out here. All right, but listen. Cortez, your shit don't connect. This side connect, and this side stop right here. This shit like a long sideburn. Your beard should not look like a long sideburn. There's no possible way for your beard to look like a long sideburn. Um, Just cut the shit off. Before you do that, run. Go on a low-carb diet. I could teach you how to do this shit, man. And I don't want to talk about this. Let me, let me chill because it's something I'm going to talk about later on with the whole weight loss shit. But you got like, niggas is older, man. I ain't no young, young nigga no more. You know what I'm saying? I ain't crazy old, but I ain't young, no young, young nigga, so... Breathing play a, a, a big factor. I don't think core material was terrible. I don't think his material was terrible. His delivery was terrible and he couldn't breathe. Next time, just grab an asthma pump. Go on the machine. You know that machine you put on your nose before you go up there? Go on that shit before you come on stage, B. Because niggas don't understand your, your breathing play a big part in how you say your shit or how you get certain punchlines across. So if your breathing is off... You're going to be off. You know what I'm saying? And that's what it is. So I just think your breathing was bad. Your breathing was very bad. Um, as far as that, I don't think the material sucked. You know, it was, it was okay, but it wasn't crazy neither. But it wasn't terrible. Like, I don't feel like that. Your breathing and your delivery was just way off. Easy to block delivery was on. You know, e even if I didn't care for his rounds, his delivery was on. He was prepared. He was ready. You know what I'm saying? And that's 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 how you're supposed to be. So I gave easy to block the battle, but I, I gave him the battle because of the last round. The shit was still zero zero one going into the uh, I mean for the whole battle. All right. Next, let's move on. Um. Let's talk about this Aver Calico. And, and before I say this, I'm going to say this. Because I don't give a fuck. I got a text a few ago not to talk about the Aver Calico and Avo situation. And somebody asked me not to talk about it. You know, one of the higher ups, you know what I'm saying? One of the people behind the scene, they asked me not to talk about it. And out of respect for that person, Cause I do fuck with them. I gotta tell you, no, sir, I can't do that. It's not possible for somebody to ask me not to, to do something I'm that that I want to do. It's not possible. I'm sorry. Like it ain't. This is my show. I do what the fuck I want to do. That's that. Yeah, everybody understand that, right? We good. We clear. <laughs> no, sir. We are we clear on that? Do everybody understand that? That I'm gonna do what the fuck I want to do on my show. Uh -huh -huh. Do we, under, we understand that? Okay, cool. All right, cool. All right, we good. All right. By the way, real quick, real quick. You see these pillows in back of me? You could pet these shits. You see, the, so you could pet it. You ever petted a pillow? Look at this shit. This shit is chipmunk fur. Y'all niggas ain't never have a chipmunk fur pillow. Y'all niggas can't fuck with me. There's no way y'all could fuck with me. I'm the smoothest nigga living. My pillow is chipmunk fur. I killed like 20 of them motherfuckers and made two pillows. It ain't, it's not possible for y'all that y'all can say y'all can fuck with me. Y'all ain't never pet y'all pillow. Listen, until you pet your pillow and it don't bite you, don't talk to me. All right? I just want to get out the way because I'm just, just don't talk to me. Uh, this shit feel like baby skin. This shit smooth as a motherfucker. Y'all niggas don't got this. Yo. And I'm tired of being modest, so I'm going to just come up here and really talk my shit. I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. Fuck y'all. Y'all niggas gonna hate on me anyway, so I'm gonna talk my shit. Go get you a chipmunk fur pillow, nigga. When you do that, then you come talk to me. Until then, don't talk, don't talk to me. If you can't pet your pillow, don't talk to me. All right? Cool. But, um, yeah, no, sir, I can't do that. Let's get to that. Aver, Calico, and this whole Avo situation. All right, let's, let's, let's start with this. 
and, and I said this, if y'all was in my if y'all was in my um my watch party that I did for the battles, I, I touched on this in there. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get so surprised when somebody do something because y'all really be considering these niggas y'all friends. Y'all really talk to these niggas and think y'all cool with them. Avocado, I don't know him like that. I might have shown him, you know, you might have said what's up passing, but that's it. That's not my friend. I don't know him. I'm not going to hold a conversation with him. I don't put nothing past him what he did at all. Him doing what he did, I don't put that past him. It's like y'all get so, y'all like, oh my God, he, he said, I could see him saying some racist shit. Now, he didn't say nothing. He laughed when his man said something, his friend, right? But I'm going to tell y'all two things. One is, let's not act like we don't be around each other and be like, oh, yeah, you, you, know, you talking like a white person or um, you acting like a white person or whatever that means. We do the same thing. So let's, let's not do that. We do the same thing. We do, we, we do the same thing. We make jokes like that. We do that. Now, I'm not saying it's right. It's not saying it's right, but we joke like that. You, you wasn't supposed to do that shit on camera, though, point blank. Nobody's ever supposed to see that, and you laughing. I don't put it past him to do that, so I don't give a fuck that he did it. I look at him the same way that I looked at him before. I don't, I, I don't give a fuck about him. I didn't give a fuck about him now. I don't care. His man, he, he was dead wrong because he sat there and his man was laughing, right? So you, you guilty by association. Period. So I get it. You're guilty by association. That's it. You're there. You're guilty too, nigga. If I can't, if, if I got beef with your brother and I catch you, I'm going to fuck you up. You guilty by association, nigga. That should not be your brother. That shouldn't have been your brother, nigga. Your brother shouldn't have did no stupid shit. Period. All right? So, Avo is guilty by association. Period. I don't put that past him, though. I don't put that past him to the point where I'm going to be like, oh, my God, he did this, Avo. How could you do that? No, I expected him to do that shit. Y'all niggas think all these niggas are y'all fucking friends. These niggas ain't y'all friends. Stop being so cool with these niggas. If, these, if you don't really know these niggas, stop trusting these niggas so much you expect them not to do something or something like that. Like, come on. That's, like, for real. So I expected him to do that. He dead wrong, you guilty by association. So, all right. Verb. I fuck with Verb. I actually talk to Verb on the phone. Like, I fuck with Verb. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel... Verb, I don't feel like he said nothing to you. I feel like he said your name, but he said it in a way that was like any battle rapper. Like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, John, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get prepared for uh, Rum Nitty. Like, he just said it like... Pick the battle rapper and just said it. I feel like, Verb, you made it about you. This is just my personal opinion. That's it. You know what I'm saying? This is my opinion. I feel like you made it about you. But in the same breath... I could understand how you would feel a way or you could make it about you. If you wanted to, you could. Like you did, you could make it about you. I wouldn't have made it about me. I'd have looked at out of sword. Oh, he ain't, I understand what he did. I'd have been more mad that you let your man say that shit. He didn't say verb didn't take care of his kids. Okay? Um, I get if you say he said... Somebody name in a kind of racist combo. That's something I get. So that's why I would get why Verb would feel away. But if Verb would have said, don't say my name in a racist combo. Don't bring my name up and you have racist ass combos. I can understand that. I don't agree with him saying that he said he don't take care of his kids. Because that, 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 that's not what I heard at all. Alright? That's not what I heard at all. So I don't agree with that. But I, I do understand why Verb is mad because he brung his name up, period. You know what I'm saying? Don't say my name, period. You know what I'm saying? Um, I know Verb personally. Verb got about seven kids. He take care of all of them. All right? I know Verb personally. He got about seven kids, maybe 13. Verb got a bunch of fucking kids. Like, I'm talking about Verb and fucking since he was probably three. Like, like I'm telling you, Verb got mad kids. Like a whole, like, <laughs> like kids, kid, kid, kids. He got a bunch of them. Like, Verb was fucking. Verb had to be fucking. He was like three. Like, Verb had the little, the little, the little pee hole in his diaper. 
Like he had to have a little pee hole in his diaper. I don't he I don't know. That nigga was fucking for a minute. But Verb take care of all his kids though. You know what I'm saying? Verb take care of all his kids. And that's something I know for a fact. So that being said, Verb, you shouldn't even 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 uh even um got into that. The whole you know, uh the whole joint with the the GoFundMe, um, I don't agree with that neither. You know what I'm saying? But when he came out and said why he did it, I mean, I guess I can understand that. Um, it's up to you to believe that or not. It's just really up to you to believe if that's why he did it or not. But I can see his whole stance on why he said it and, I mean, why he did it and y'all wasn't going to stand. But, uh, you know, I mean, I feel, I feel like if he didn't, if that wasn't the reason, that was a damn good comeback. You, you, you always got to have something in the chamber if something go wrong. <laughs> know that. So, shit, if, if that went wrong... He had a good ass comeback. And that's it. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? Um, Ver personally, I think you just try to get some bread. Fuck that. I ain't knocking you, nigga. You got 13 kids. Nigga, do what you gotta do, nigga. Fuck that. I'm you know what? I'm putting up a GoFundMe. I'm putting up a GoFundMe and I'm dead serious. I don't have no reason for the GoFundMe. Alright? I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't have no reason for the GoFundMe. Just send me some money, please. That that's all. Just just send me something. I, I'ma put it into something positive though. I'm going to put it in the sun positive. All right? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put it in the sun positive, and I'm going to show y'all what I put it into. You know what I'm saying? It might be something with my business. Uh, it might be for this show. You know what I'm saying? I, you know what? I'm going to do a GoFundMe for this show, and I'm going to buy something and give it away to one of y'all. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy something, and I'm going to give it away to one of y'all. So maybe I, we might, I might do a GoFundMe. Take all that money, buy like two, three pairs of sneakers or whatever I make, and then do a raffle and just give the shit to y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, we'll talk about that. You know what I'm saying? If I got some extra money, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it. See, this is the difference. I'm not gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying? So, if I make however much money, you know what I'm saying? If I make $1,000, right? I'm gonna spend, you know what I'm saying, like 700 you know, in the sneakers. And I'm gonna pocket 300 I mean, that's just business. That's it. Learn the business. Of course I'm not going to go spend the whole stack on it. I'm going to pocket, you know, 300 and spend the 700 on it. Like, come on, B. I'm not going to lie to you. This is just business. That's it. This is just business. This is how business go. All right? Cool. So that's it. That's it with that situation. That's it with the whole um, battle rap talk. You know what I'm saying? Let's get into something else. I'm, You know, I don't... I can't sit here and talk about battle rap with y'all niggas all day. Like, that's just, at, at the end of the day, that shit just get redundant. It's stupid. I'm not on here to just talk battle rap with y'all niggas all day. No, nah, I'm not raffling my motherfucking pillows, nigga. All right? You know how hard it was to catch these fucking chipmunks? You talk about raffling my motherfucking pillow? Nigga, nigga, pitching me, jumping on the floor, catching these niggas, and, and, and then coming here, cutting them up and making pillows, nigga. You bugging. I'm not raffling my pillows, all right? Let's get into this 30 of the day. All right? 30 of the day. 30 of the day is going to be like the donkey of the day. Right? Don't got nothing to do with niggas battling, going back and forth. 30 of the day. These niggas in, uh, um, uh, he had the best rounds. No, this, this don't got nothing to do with that. This is when a nigga 30 your life. Like, 30 your life, not, not the battling, a nigga 30 your life, like he do something that makes you look fucking stupid, or you do something that make you look stupid, so this is when a nigga 30 your life, your whole life, like your fucking, let me finish this, I ain't drink this shit in a minute, and I see why, shit. Cool, so this one a nigga 30 your fucking life, okay? I'm going to get into it right now. Y'all ready? Let me see some emojis. If, if y'all want to hit a 30 of the day, who got they life 30, let me see some emojis. I don't even know the emojis, so I can't even tell you let me see a, a, a fucking whatever emoji, but just let me see some emojis. Shit, let me just throw up the emojis if you're ready for it. Throw up the emojis, man, because I'm going to tell you who got they life fucking 30. I'm talking about 30. Good night. Bye bye. Your life is 30. All right. 
Drum roll, please. Rada, you got your life 30 When you bought that cheap-ass shirt that wasn't even silk, I think it was polyester, and Loso brung the same shirt out and put it on his fucking shoulders. He 30 your life. Your whole existence of being a man is 30, just for a little while, but 30. If you're gonna run with this silk talk shit and do that, and it's some real shit, if you're gonna run with that shit and you're gonna do that, right? Spend a little bit more money on the shirt so a nigga wouldn't wanna go buy it just to pull it out in a battle. Spend like a hundred dollars on the shirt because Loso ain't gonna go ain't gonna go buy a shirt for a hundred dollars just to pull it out in a battle. That's too much money. A nigga ain't gonna, gonna spend a hundred. $200. A nigga gonna go spend $20, $9.99, $15.99 to go buy that shirt and bring it out. Spend more money on the shirt. Spend $200. Spend $150. You know what I'm saying? Because a nigga not gonna spend that. Loso ain't gonna spend that. I saw somebody say John John spent 80 on a chain. Yes, that makes sense for the chain. John John is a top tier battler. He gets paid decent money. That 80 didn't hurt him at all. Loso ain't getting paid as much money as John John. Loso ain't getting paid that much money. He's not going to go spend out his pocket $150 on a shirt just to bring it out in the battle. And that ain't never going to wear it. Then the shirt was polyester. Brother, I hate you. I really hate you. You you got the 30 of the fucking day for that. I don't give a fuck who won the battle. That shirt won the battle. Your shirt was trending. How you not trending? You in the shirt and you not trending. But the motherfucking shirt is trending with nobody in it. There's just a picture of the shirt on Amazon. How the, I, <laughs> yeah, y'all niggas is crazy. Like, I'm, I'm serious. At this point, man, it, it's cool. I fuck with Rada, though. I fuck with I got to stop fucking. Be, be, I've been fucking with him lately, but I fuck with him. Just just spend a little bit more money on the shirt. That, that's all I'm saying. Just spend a little bit more money on the shirt, please, Rada. Please. Please. Y'all niggas don't pet y'all motherfucking pillows. Fuck out of here. Niggas couldn't fuck with me on an off day, nigga. Alright, so check it. Current events, right? So something outside of battle rap. Let's let's let, let's talk about something outside of battle rap. Alright. So I don't know if y'all know this situation, right? But Cam Newton. Wife wants 15 racks a month for child support. Do y'all think she's bugging or should she get it? Now, I'm bringing this up because I had a whole argument with a girl about this. Right? No, who? Niche, you in here? Because I had a whole argument with Niche. Right? The problem with females is, of course, y'all going to say that, yeah, she, she need that for this, that, and the third. Y'all going to make up shit why you need that. Y'all going to make up shit why you need 15 racks, right? All right? Now, she need 15 racks a month acting like that man is not going to take care of his kids anyway. So what you need 15000 a month for? You better off saying... Listen, you know what I'm saying? Um, because I was your wife and I have your kids, I think 15000 a month would be good just for all of our living expenses. I can understand that. If you come to me like that, we good. 
I can understand that. But if you say your kids need 15000 a month, you're a fucking liar. Your kids do not need 15000 a month. No. Your, your living style needs 15000 a month. That's what needs 15000 a month. The way you want to live. All right? This is why this is why if I deal with anybody, if I tell my shorty right now, I, I tell her, yo, listen. Yo, listen, I need you to, you know what I'm saying, to 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 have your own. Fuck me. Fuck me. You don't fuck me. Because of course, if you're dealing with me right now, I'm gonna make sure you all the way good. You ain't gonna have a care in the world. You all the way good, right? But if me and you don't make it, and I leave you, or you leave me, or however it go, we, we, we break up. You're going to go right back to what you know. Instead of you, of all the, the growing I didn't taught you while me and you was together. Because if you're going to deal with somebody, first of all, if you can't upgrade that person, or that person can't upgrade you, you don't need to be dealing with that person. It makes no fucking sense in the world. Both of y'all just sitting there staying the same. It's stupid. Period, right? So, if me if me and you don't make it, you should be able to take something from us dealing with each other or whatever I taught you. You should be able to take something from that. So, I'm teaching you to be independent, stand on your own feet, not need no nigga. Because I would hate to hear my bitch, my shorty, that I was dealing with for however many years... Me and me and you stopped talking in a year down the line. I hear you went back to the same shit you was doing before me. That's gonna make me feel fucking stupid. Like what was I dealing with? And I don't want to feel stupid. So if you can't learn from a nigga or a nigga can't learn from you, y'all don't even need to be together. Y'all don't need to deal with each other. That's that. So when somebody said they want 15 k a month, you just want a way out. You don't want to get it on your own. I respect the chick that come to me and say, "Yo, listen, I know we're not together." But I want to start this business. Can you give me a hundred grand towards this business? Because you want to get your own money, not live off of me. Bitch, suck three million cocks all at the same time. And then die. Alright? Motherfuckers pissing me off. This is real shit. I'm just, I'm, listen, we're going to talk about so much shit all the time. We're not just going to do the regular, like, battle rap talk. There's a bunch of shows on here that do that shit. Nah, my show going to be the fucking best show on here. That's how I'm looking at it. And that's how I went into this. Niggas offer me a show? Nah, my show going to be the best show on there. I don't want to come in the same as everybody fucking show on here. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That, 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 that's not even how I look at things. No, my show gonna be the best show on here. Alright? Now, I don't gotta compete with nobody. Eat three cocks. Fuck you talking about. It, it ain't no comparison. You can't compare to me. My show gonna be the best show on here. You know why? Because I'm gonna be myself. That's what niggas scared to do. Be they self. A nigga don't know how to be yourself. If a nigga meet me in person, if, a, if any one of y'all niggas ever met me in person, and I know some people in here that probably met me in person, they'll tell you right on here right now, I swear to God, I am the same person in person that I am on here, or if you see me. I am the same exact person. The only thing they might tell you that's different about me is, yo, Goods is a cool ass nigga. I thought he was wild cocky and, and, and you know what I'm saying, and like, arrogant but in person he's wild court i know he was like that and if anybody in here ever met me they're gonna tell you that same shit i can guarantee you that who said they don't think they could ask from a dollar from good hell yeah i'm the most given person in the world you want a dollar i give you a dollar you ask me for a dollar i might give you five if i got it depending on if i got it you know what i'm saying if i'm fucked up i'm gonna tell you now nah, i'm a little fucked up right now this dollar i gotta buy me um a snicker because I might can't eat the 9 o'clock at night. I'm going to tell you the truth. It ain't going to be no bullshit. No bullshit. At all. But these niggas ain't real. That's their problem. But shout out to everybody showing here though. I'm going to say that. Shout out to uh, Tay Rock. 
you know, his show doing his thing. Shout out to DNA. His show is fire. Like, I'm not a hater. Like, I like it. Like, I, I start watching these shits and all that. You know what I'm saying? Shit's fire. Shout out to um, Surf doing his show with Jazz, um, 40 Bars, whoever show. But I came on here for my show to be the best fucking show. Period. All right? Cool. You don't like it? <laughs> you don't like it? Frank Stan. Know that. All right? Damn, we didn't touch on every. All right, let's let's get into this category now. This is a category I I, I wanted to get into anyway. Um, grown man advice. You know what I'm saying? Grown man advice. We 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 gonna get to to uh, y'all questions. I'm gonna answer everybody. Qu Frank Stan, exactly. That's all I'm gonna say. A nigga don't like me, Frank Stan. I run three miles. You know what I'm saying? Every four, I run three hours. I run three miles four days a week. Um, I work out. I'm in great shape. I, I feel like I can fuck one of y'all niggas up. Like, I'm being serious at this point. At this point right here, I, I feel like I can fuck one of y'all. So, Frank Stan, everybody. Whoever don't like me, Frank Stan. You see me, then you could just approach me. Hey, good. You know, I didn't like the Frank Stan. Cool. And we, we can just handle it from there. I really feel like right now my, my, my stamina up. You know what I'm saying? A nigga just be doing mad active shit for no reason. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? But don't 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 think if you come over here it's gonna be a, a little easy scuffle. Nah, nigga, you caught me when I was fat. It might have been not, not now. It's over. Nigga, stamina too. <laughs> shit, shit, a little crazy, right? But Frank Stan, everybody that don't fuck with me. To the people that do fuck with me, what if he's six ten? I'm gonna stab his ass up. Ain't no wing wing. I'm not gonna fight no six ten, nigga. You know what I'm saying like, that like come on, he's six ten, about two something. I mean, we might have a conversation. I'm gonna, if a nigga six ten, two fifty, I'm gonna say, listen, fam, look. You look like you play football, basketball, or something. You got a good life ahead of you. I don't think you really should do this because I have no choice but to stab you. So, you look like you could do something. Like, you could be a center. You could play power forward. You might could play linebacker. You could do something with your life. Don't end your life off a stab. Because I don't really want to stab you. But I'm not gonna get my ass whooped neither. So at this point, it's really I have no choice but to stab you. So that's that's the conversation I would have before anything go down. And I think as a 6'10, 250 nigga that say, yeah, you know, I do, you know. And then he might leave it alone. And I, I And that's it, man. And that's just real. I don't I don't wanna fight at all. I'm too old to be fucking fighting. I'm just have a conversation and, and hopefully. He don't go there. Because I don't really want it. I, I don't want to be. Cool. All right, listen. But anyway, look. Grown man advice. Grown man advice. Check me out. Grown man advice, right? For some of y'all that know me. They knew me for uh, however long y'all knew me. My highest I ever was in weight was 130 pounds. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 230 pounds. This, that's this fucking Henny. Just the, oh, yeah, look. I finished it. Y'all niggas know I be bullshitting, nigga. You know I be sitting there all day like this. Taking the littlest sips in the world. This shit gone. So you know what that mean. <laughs> but... The most I was 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 like 230, two thirty, two two. I'm sorry, two forty. I was two forty. All right. The most I was was two forty. Um. If you look at the Hollow the Dawn battle or what else, the conceited joint, maybe yeah. Around that time, I was like two thirty, right? I don't know. I was young. I was young. I was getting money. I had I had girls. I was jumping in out of cars. I didn't give a fuck about no weight. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's how I was young. I ain't understand it. Now, when I started getting older, I, when I hit 30, I said, nah, I'm not going to be no old fat nigga. Word. I'm not going to be no old fat nigga. Bitches is not going to like me. You know what I'm saying? I got me a nice little young drink right now. She is beautiful. If I wouldn't have lost this shit, she would have not been feeling me. I'd have been an old fat nigga, no joints. I'd have been looking crazy. That's one. That we, I'm not. I wasn't doing that. So, if you somebody that, that that's trying to like 
cut down and I know how it is when I had to start listening to somebody I, I know that was big that lost weight because I could trust them because I, I watched them being big. You get what I'm saying? And I watched them lose all the weight so I could trust what they say. Because a lot of people, tell, I, all these brolic niggas, I go to the gym, all these brolic niggas telling me what to do. Nigga, you probably been brolic your whole life, nigga. I, I ain't see you before this. It's some niggas that's genetically born that way. Get out my face telling me what I should do, nigga. Frank Stan to you. Get the fuck out of here. You ever got your fucking muscle stabbed? Fuck out my face. Anyway, so as me, y'all knowing me being 240, because y'all niggas remember when I was 240, right? If you want to, I'm, I'm going to give y'all everything right now on what I did to make me drop. Right now, I went from 240. Right now, I'm 180. All right, I'm around. I go from 180 to 185. That's where I'm at right now. I got a, I got a neck and all that. Nigga can't tell me shit. What you gonna tell me? Nigga, I got a neck. Frank Stan. Fuck you talking about. You know what I'm saying? So I'm 180, 185 now. I take off my shirt at the beach. You know, nigga can't tell me shit. I go, if I go to Miami, I, I don't even, I don't even bring shirts. Like on vacation, I don't bring shirts at all. I don't ever own shirts. I just go with just shorts and, and, and sneakers. I don't I don't ever bring shirts. Like what what I need a shirt for? What am I doing a shirt for? For what? All right, no shirt. But I don't need the shirt. You know what I'm saying? For what am I doing that for? Um. So I went from serious. I went from two thirty, no two forty to like to one eighty. I'm one eighty, one eighty five right now. Right. And. I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you some tips on what to do. Low carb diet. When I say low carb diet, for the first two weeks, I want you to do no bread, no pasta, no rice, no potatoes. All right, y'all hear me? No bread, no pasta, no rice, no potatoes. Okay? All right, cool, right? That's for the first two weeks. It's going to be hard. Do it one week and then see if you can make it to the second week. All right? Alcohol definitely ain't good. And I'm, I'm going to get to that. Um, No bread. I, so that's, you're going to do no carbs the first two weeks. After that, you could do low carbs. So you, you, you do like carbs before your workout and right after your workout. Straight water. Only water. Only water, only water, only water. My height, I'm 5'8". Only water, straight water. No soda, no juice, no none. If you could do apple juice here and there, maybe orange juice in the morning if you want. I did no juice, no soda, period. Pineapple juice is good. Prune juice is good if you want to do that. Um, but I did no, no nothing but water, straight water. If you just drink straight water and you drink a gallon a day, you'll lose weight off of that alone. No pork, no beef. I just, I just do chicken and fish. No pork, no beef. Chicken and fish. And that's it. I drop the weight like that. Go work out. You don't got to go on a treadmill and run. You don't got to do that. You go on a treadmill and walk. Your body going to tell you when you ready to run. So you can walk, walk, walk. One day you're going to feel like, damn, while I'm walking and I ain't tired. I feel good. I can run. And then you're going to start jogging. Then you're going to start running. Ground turkey is terrific. Now, when I say no beef, you're going to substitute it for ground turkey. You're going to substitute the bread with wraps. I do spinach wraps or wheat wraps. And then if, if the, last, the last, you know, if they don't got nothing else, then you'll get a regular wrap. But you're going to substitute that, right? Um, the meals a day don't matter. You can eat. I don't eat after 8 o'clock. So that's something you could do too. Try um, tr start it like like nine or st start it you know like at a good time for you, but that's that that works. So if you're a person that stay up late, you could probably do it like do nine or ten maybe the most. But I don't eat after eight o'clock. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you go to sleep early because you don't want that food sitting in you. All right. Straight water, no nothing, no juice, no none of that. Um. Alcohol is not good. I lost a lot of weight because I, I stopped drinking as much. I don't drink like me drinking as Henny. It's the first time I drank Hennessy in a little while. Like this is an occasion thing. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with the juice ball. 
in New York, we got a we got a, a, a bunch of juice bars. I don't know if y'all never been to the juice bar, and that's the thing. Apple cider vinegar and water is good. Apple cider vinegar is perfect. But I but if you never been to the juice bar, the juice bar is a bunch of herbs, natural herbs that you drink, and and, and it gives you a buzz like liquor, like tiger yeah, tiger bone. Tiger bone is Chinese liquor. Tiger bone just don't got all that sugar and all that shit in it. You know what I'm saying? So you can mess with tiger bone. It's better than liquor, but that should get you drunk. The herb, yeah, Styles P is my man. Shout out to Styles P. That's my man. Yeah, go to like, that's a juice bar. You go there and you can get the all around the world and get shit like that. That shit gonna give you a buzz like liquor, but it's way better for you. It got nutrients and shit for your body. And just do that, man. So trust me, in two weeks, if you do what I just said, no carbs, straight water, substitute, no beef, no pork, just do ground turkey, chicken and fish, and don't eat after nine, I guarantee you will lose at least 12, at least 10 pounds in two weeks. At least. I'm going to say 12. At least, I'm telling you. And, I, and, I'm tell, and I'm telling you from me, you look at the difference. Look at me now and go look at me when I battle. And you'll, you, you'll see the fucking difference. I look at me when I used to, I look at me like back in the day when I look at interviews and I'd be like, ew, what the fuck was I? I look like... A fat Eskimo. I'm like, what the? And then, I, nah, I, I can't look like that. Now, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Nigga looking younger than I ever look. I'm feeling good. You know what I'm saying? I don't even, like, I be going to check the mailbox with no shirt on and shit. It just, for no reason. What am I walking to check the mailbox with no, with no shirt? It be snowing. I got on no shirt. Why Why is it snowing now I got on no shirt? For what? what why? Why? The snow hitting me, I'm jumping like this and shit. It's like, come on, I, I gotta chill. I know I gotta chill, man. You know what I'm saying? Steak. You could do steak once a week. I, I allow you to do steak once a week. You know what I'm saying? Or if you wanna lose weight like wow, wow, quick, like real quick, just smoke crack. Just smoke crack. That's all, just smoke crack. That's all. Smoke crack, you'll be all right. Just smoke crack, you're going to lose all the weight in the world. You'll be good. You'll be out here, you know what I'm saying? Boom, and then just try to get your life together after that. That's it. You know what I'm saying? But that's my grown man advice for, for now. You know what I'm saying? Um, next week, I think I'm going to bring my man Bones on here. If y'all know me, y'all know Bones. Bones Bagante. Fucking hilarious. Um, he do this shit on his ins on, on his Instagram called Fragrance Fridays. I'm gonna bring him on here to do a segment called You Smell Me. And there's a joint this nigga know about like he he the nigga that put me on the colognes. I wasn't in the colognes, you know, for a little while. I always was a nigga that wanted to smell good. Always was a nigga that wanted to smell good. Period. No matter what, like I always was, I always smelled good. That 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 was my thing. He put me on the colognes. See, like the oil use and all that. Yeah, he put me on the cologne. So the nigga one day the nigga bought a bottle of cologne for like four hundred dollars. I said, nigga, you I know you on drugs. You popping pills. There's no way in the world you want to spend four hundred fucking dollars on no fucking cologne. You stupid. You a fucking idiot. I'm blacking on him. You a dummy. The fuck you spending four hundred dollars on a bottle of cologne for you stupid idiot? You know what I'm saying? No, he he really had me mad, so I I, I just went back into back into how mad I got when a nigga told me he spent four hundred dollars on cologne. I think I might have stopped talking to the nigga for a couple of days. I told a nigga don't call me, just don't call me for a little while. That was the dumbest shit you ever could have did, you dumb fuck, right? Then the nigga the nigga put me on in the cologne. I start getting into the cologne. This nigga got like a hundred bottles of cologne though. He got like a hundred bottles. You know what I'm saying? So I started getting into it. I found one day he came and he had this shit on. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is that? Nigga told me, right? The shit is called Tom Ford Noir. Fire. The shit smell like grown baby powder. Grown baby powder. I don't really care for Creed like that. I'm going to be real with you. I don't really care for Creed like that. The shit smell like grown baby powder. I said, nah, nigga, what is that? He told me what it was. I said, I got to buy that. I went and bought that shit. Check this though. I walked into the store, went to buy that one, right? Smelt it. Now, this is what I learned about cologne. 
And that's what he was telling me. When you first spray it on you, it's going to have a different smell. You got to smell it then, and then it got a settle down smell when it's settled down. The Tom Ford Neo was like $130. So when you spray it on, it got, it got that smell, and it got a settle down smell. So when I first sprayed it on me, I'm like, damn, this shit smells stronger than it smelled on bones when a nigga walked in. So I'm like, nah, this ain't, nah, I don't know if I like this now. It's a little, I don't like strong colognes at all. So I'm like, nah, yo, I don't know if I like this shit like that now. You know what I'm saying? So they had another joint, right? So then I smelt this shit called Tom Ford Neor, Neor Dreamer, if I'm not, no, Extreme. I'm sorry, Extreme. So it's this. So they got a Tom Ford Neor, Neor, and they got a Tom Ford Neor Extreme. So when he sprayed the Extreme on me, I was with my shorty, and 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 I'm like, she smelled it. She's like, it's fire, fire, fire. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, yeah, this is fire. I wind up buying that one. I wind up buying the Extreme and leaving the other one. Then I went. I saw Bones again and said and talked to him. And this is when I learned to settle down smell. He was like, nah, it's gonna smell the same way. You smelt it on me because I it settled down on me. You should have let the shit settle down on you. Yeah, Tom Ford is is unisex. I'm telling you, it's unisex fire. So I said, Oh, I went back and bought that one. So now now I got two. I got the extreme and I got the, the regular New York. After that. That was it. I mean, right now I got about 12 bottles. 12 bottles. I, I got a bottle that costs $400, though. And I, got on, and I got on bones for that. And I bought a bottle that cost $400. I'm going to tell y'all what it's called. I'm, if you smell this shit, y'all niggas going to... I'm telling these chicks going... Nigga, you walk by joining this shit, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all want to y'all y'all want to know what it is? It's four hundred dollars, but it's fire. You might get a little cheaper if you go small on the bottle, but it's fire, 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 fire. Do you want to know what? I need to see some emojis if you want to know what it is. Let me see some emojis, cause I'm gonna tell you what this. Shit, y'all might make me get up and go get it real quick. I need to see some emojis. I'm about to get up and go get this shit. I swear to you, I'm about to get up and go get it. I'm I'm about to tell you. Let me see some emojis. I'm 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 putting y'all on some shit. I swear to you, you can get the smaller bottle for cheaper, but this shit right here is it. The shit is called Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Okay. Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Go get a sample of it. Go get a sample of the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Tobacco. This shit smell like a cigar and vanilla. I'm, t I'm yo, listen. Listen to me. Trust me. Trust, a chick might go to, to, to give you head and start sucking your leg. That's how good that shit smell. That's how good that shit smell. I'm t you ever had a chick suck your leg? Like the inside of your leg? Like right by your balls and shit? But that, uh, you know what? Get, get the tobacco over knee, nigga. And we can have this talk. Because y'all niggas don't got pillows y'all can pet. Y'all don't got this. Y'all pillows don't do this? You know why I got these pillows? Because I got that Tom Ford tobacco over knee. All right? That tobacco vanilla is different. That Tom Ford, um, Noir, fire. Fire. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got a text to say, y'all put up props, not emojis. So, can y'all put up the props, please? I don't, you know, I don't know, man. Niggas want to be all technical. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing on here. I'm just on here talking. You know what I'm saying? These niggas tell them when they want to text me and give me advice and shit. Okay, I got you. All right. Put put up the props for me. Thank you very much, y'all. Thank you. All right. But 
Nigga said, Van- who said vanilla stink? You bugging. You ain't smell him today. I think that was a girl. Now you wildin', shorty. You ain't never smell me at all. You ain't never smell me. Shit, you smell me. I had to turn you down. Like, nah, I don't want to take you with me. I'm good, shorty. You all right? I don't, nah, I can't, I can't take you with me. I'm taking. Trust me. Go, all right, go get a sample of that tobacco vanilla. Go get a sample of the Tom Ford New York. Go get a sample of the Tom Ford Dreamer. Fire. 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 And I, and I got some other joints. I ain't going to tell y'all everything right away. But I'm telling you, I got some fire for y'all. For real. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get into this last segment, though. Um, and I, y'all probably was waiting for this because y'all motherfuckers is crazy as shit. And I know y'all want to ask me a bunch of questions. So, let's get into this, uh, <laughs> I really don't even want to do this shit with y'all. But I, I want to know what questions y'all got. Let's get into these, uh, fan questions. So, I don't like to call y'all fans, supporters. Supporter questions. Let's get into that. Let's talk, let's talk about that. Let's get into that. Supporter questions. Let me see what y'all got. Talk to me. What's up? When my next battle? Um, you know what? Next show, I'm gonna talk about the me and Geechee situation because it was gonna go down, and it didn't. And I'm I, I'm gonna talk to y'all about that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and and yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all about that on on our next show. You know what I'm saying? Next next Wednesday. Who music I've been listening to lately? I like Dave East new joint. Um, I like Nas new joint. Um, Little Baby. Not the baby. I like Little Baby. Little Baby joint. I've been I've been listening to uh Who else? Who else? Who else? Um A Boogie. A Bo- I ain't hear the Locks album yet. I didn't hear the Locks album yet. I promise you I'm going to listen to it all tomorrow. Because I like to let that shit just play the whole day while I'm driving and all that. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah. What else? Me and Clips versus End Up. Wait. Will you ever see goods on? Oh, me versus Cam. Uh, I might talk about that on my next show. Me versus Cam. I don't know. Shout out to Killer, man. I, um, Killer was my favorite. One of my favorites, like, coming up. So, shout out to Killer. I saw his last freestyle. Um, I thought it was dope. You know, and that, that's pretty much it. Word. Shout out to Killer. Give me some good questions. What's up? My meals this week. My meals this week was good. It's good. I got a, I got a whole regimen on how to keep myself together. And I know exactly how to, you know, like... Do it now. So I'm like, I'm all the way on point. Drag on, my man. I'm not battling no damn drag on, man. Fuck is wrong with you? What age should you be out your parents' place? That's a good one. You know what? I am going to say as an age, man. Leave when you ready. But any man or woman, when you become a woman or a man, you are, and I'm talking about mentally, you are ready to leave your parents' place because you want your own. You might have a boyfriend at the time. You might have a girlfriend at the time. You can't walk around naked around your house. You got to sneak and fuck because your mother's in the room. You don't want that when you become a man or a woman mentally. So mentally, when you are a woman or a man, that's when it is time to leave your parents' crib. Point blank. I'm telling y'all how to make money. I can't tell y'all how to make money. You got to find your niche. Let me tell you something. You, you, you know how much shit I, didn't, I took losses on and how much shit I didn't take losses on, but I had to try mad different shits to find what is going to work for me? You can't be scared to take a loss, point blank. You can't be scared to take a loss at all. You know what I'm saying? Um, and, and, and that's that. You just can't be scared to take a loss. You know what I'm saying? Because that money could have went to a whole bunch of other shit you don't even see. You feel me? Did I see the plug on the horse yet? <laughs> I've been seeing the plug on the horse. I probably took that nigga to see that plug. I didn't see that this goods have a pet. Did you say that? I, I didn't see that. Write that again. Because this shit going too fucking quick. I don't know what's going on. Um, 
Worst dress battle rapper. Hmm. Worst dress battle rapper. Damn, that's a hard one. It's a it, it's a lot of them, man. Yo, listen, I got a show coming out on URL, the app, called The Dirtiest Battle Rapper Blog. I mean show, I'm sorry. Y'all remember I did the Dirtiest Battle Rapper blog? I got a show coming out called a Dirtiest Battle Rapper Show on URL. It ain't all about dirty battle rappers. It's dope because I got a segment called The Most Stylish Bar where I pick a bar that was like stylish to me. That was I like the way he dressed the bar up. It's dope. I got a segment called um, um, Why the Fuck You Got That On or something like that. What the fuck are you wearing? That's the name of the segment. What the fuck are you wearing? Where I talk, I pick a nigga and I talk about why the fuck do you got that on? Why was you on camera with that? Then I got another segment called My Sneaker Collection where I go get a pair of sneakers out my sneakers, out my sneaker collection, out my sneaker closet and, and talk about it and show y'all and then tell y'all what I like about it, what story behind it when I bought it. Um, yeah, so the, the show is going to be dope. So hey, y'all need to go check that out. I mean, Tay Rock ain't dirty. Tay, Tay, Tay Rock ain't dirty. You can't say that. His hats is just big as a motherfucker. Tay Rock, stop wearing them big ass fucking hats. You was on there looking like fucking a little gay ass Dracula with them fucking... Yellow shits in your eyes and that big ass stupid ass hat holding your fucking shit like this. Pissing me the fuck off. Hold up. What's up? What's up? Let me come on. So where the questions at? Where the questions at? How old was I when I bought my first house? Um, I just had a house for 10 years. And I, I used to do the real estate thing. I used to know how to get in the cribs take them and when the bank put a lean hold on them and when the bank come they gotta they gotta um they gotta pay me you know what i'm saying that was if i used to do that for a long time so if i put a lean hold on it for i'll have a lawyer write up a lawyer i know write up i'll spend twenty dollars to fix twenty thousand to fix the house up i'll have a lawyer write up i spent forty thousand and then make an extra twenty thousand. Get them. So I'll make my twenty back, plus another twenty when the bank come to take it. So I used to know how to do that shit and all that, man. I ain't do that shit for a minute though. Do I think rum can be conceited? Yes, I do think rum can be conceited. And I was just on the phone with conceited. Shout out to conceited. That's my. I knew conceited for a long time. Um, but I don't. I, I got a hair conceited now to know if he's in style or outdated. Rum is is. Rum ain't no joke, B. Rum is the best puncher. And it's hard, like, rum is the best puncher ever. And I'm saying that because he's, he's still consistently doing it. Be magic could have been. Be magic could have been, but rum is the best puncher ever. You know what I'm saying? How I feel about Mook versus Briz. Um... Mook versus Briz. Mook versus Briz. Oh. Uh, eh, it's okay. I, I ain't really too excited about it. You know what I'm saying? Um, You know what? Let me take that back. I actually like that battle. I'm going to take that back. I actually like that battle. Because if it was before, when it ain't have the whole fight and the whole storyline to it, I wouldn't have. But now with the whole storyline and we ain't see Briz in that long, and I'm this is what I mean by people gotta sit out to build their stock. Because people ain't see you for that long, now your stock is is built. They they wanna see you. So now, you know what I'm saying? They're going to people wanna see that battle. I like the battle. I actually think it's gonna be an entertaining battle. Word. Would I battle ill will? Hell no. Never. Let me not never say never, but nah, I wouldn't battle ill will. You know what? For one round, I would battle ill will. I would do a one round with ill will. I would do a one round. Three rounds, hell no, never in a million years. For what? Do I like Swamp? Yeah, I like Swamp. I watched Swamp against... Uh... Fuck is on... Twerk. I, I, I watched Swamp against Twerk. You know what I'm saying? And um, Yeah. What y'all talking about? 
You think Hitman tripping about Bell? I don't understand that question. Get well soon, twerk. Who the best ever? That's a dumbass question. I don't know. My top five right now? Shit, that's hard, man. I be doing my top five all the time. My top five is Clips. Shit, Clips. Lux. K-Shine. Um, DNA. That's hard, man. That that last spot is hard. I could go A Verb, Hitman. Shit, it, it's hard. It's hard. Rum Nitty. Um, T Top is one of my favorites. Like you know, Rum Nitty is one of my favorites. That's hard, B. John John, I like John John. I don't, that shit is hard for my for that. Would I battle Hollow again? That's a good question. Um, yeah, I will battle Hollow again. I'm not, you know, I don't, I don't want to do it. Ain't nothing like I'm like, yeah, I want to do, but I would do it again because a lot of people don't know that situation. What happened with that is I I kind of forfeited the battle. If y'all niggas want to be dead real. Me, if, go watch the battle again too. Me and Hollow was tied one one, going into the third round. I didn't get a chance to finish my third round because I threw the bottle at the nigga in the crowd at that time. So I can't get mad at Hollow because he finished his third round, and that don't got nothing to do with him. You get what I'm saying? So would I do it? Would I do another one? Yeah. Do I think Hollow would do it? No. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't have to. There's a chance that he can lose. And he already, people already saying he winning because I forfeited the battle. So why, why would he chance that? You get what I'm saying? He don't need to chance it. So I don't see him, you know, doing that again. Me versus Pat. Me versus Pat would be, me and Pat actually spoke. And me and Pat both agreed that we are both a matchup problem for each other. I think I think we both know that. Like, you know what I'm saying? We both agreed on that. So um that'll be a dope battle. That'll be fire. But yeah, I, I think I'll do me versus uh Pat. J Black don't want it with me. I'll smoke J Black. I guarantee you I'll smoke J Black. J Black, relax. Okay, okay, J Black. Me and J Black post a battle on some gym shit. J Black, you can't fuck with me in the gym. I told you that before. Everybody go hit J Black and that's the challenge. I'm challenging J Black to the gym. Anything you want to do. From running to weights to fucking calisthenics, whatever you want to do, all right. Let me see what else. Me versus official. What the fuck, I look like I'm not battling no fucking girl. Official battle a fucking self, pissing me the fuck off. I'm not battling no fucking girl. They try to get me to battle a girl on this card. One round, I do it. I'm not doing three rounds versus no girl. All right. Small room battles, yeah, I want to do one. I actually think I'll be deadly in this joint with no crowd. And a smart nigga know how deadly I would be with no crowd. I could just stand up there and just, just talk to a nigga. You got to understand, my style is talking to a nigga's soul, making him feel what I'm saying. I don't got to, I don't need the crowd to do that. I could just really talk to you, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. What else? What can Chess do to beat Sean? First, he got to show up. Chess ain't been Chess since Tay Rock. Chess ain't been Chess since Reed Dollars. Chess got to lock in, and, and, and I don't know why he's forgetting his rounds and, and going through that. I don't know why, but he has to lock in earlier than he normally does and just remember his rounds, and he'll be okay. Kayshawn is hard to beat. If Kayshawn is on his shit, good night, goodbye. I don't know. It's hard. That's it. I don't know. Damn, I got all these fucking questions. I'm trying to answer all of them. Y'all niggas is bugging the fuck out. Yeah, Surf definitely need to get his pay doc. What's how I feel? 
That's a problem with niggas. They get they they think they bigger than what what made them. They think they bigger than what made them that big. Battle rap made you that big. You're not bigger than it. If he humble himself and understands that, he'll be all right. But it start with y'all with, as fans. If y'all let a nigga get away with shit, why wouldn't he keep doing it? And then y'all want to complain and after y'all let him get away with it. I don't want to hear that shit. Me versus Twerk, no. Favorite battle to watch? I don't have... Oh, I got a couple. Like I like the old joints like Mook versus Party Artie, rest in peace. Um... Mook versus J Mills. Um, all the joints. Like I just watched Hitman versus John John. I just watched Clips versus Lux. Um, I, I like those joints, man. Like the those are them joints, B. Those are them joints right there. What else we doing? Who the most overrated battler? Overrated battler, damn. Who the most overrated battler? Because when you say overrated, that means they don't, they getting more props than they deserve. Who's the most overrated battler to me? Damn, that's a hard one. Geechee. To me, Geechee's the most overrated battler. That's my answer. Um, oh, Clips Mother? Hey, come. Bitch, come out here. They asking for you. All right, fuck you then. Clips Mother don't want to come out here. Fuck her, man. Hey, fuck, bitch don't want to. Why you under the bed? Get from under the bed. All right, she's scared. She under the bed. She think I'm ahead of her and shit. Don't worry about it, though. We're going to be all right, man. Right. Geechee is definitely the most consistent. So, I'm not trying to play Geechee. I think he's the most overrated because of how high y'all hold him. I don't think Geechee is super duper crazy like that. Don't get me wrong. I do think Geechee is good. I'm not saying that. But he's not super duper crazy the way y'all hold him up to be. But he's definitely one of the most consistent. You know what I'm saying? But you hear me? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying Geechee ain't nice. He is. But when you say overrated, that's meaning the way y'all hold him to that pedestal, I don't think he's that good. That's what I'm saying. But Geechee is good and he is consistent. The real people understand what I'm saying. All right? The real people understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Most improved battle rapper? Damn, y'all getting some battle. I don't come on. I don't be watching a bunch of fucking battles to know who the most improved. Who the most improved? Y'all tell me, who the most improved battle rapper? I think Averb is one of them. Because Averb had a point where he was hot. He Well, I can't say he dropped. And then he got back hot. So I, I, can't, I can't say that. Who's the most improved battle rapper? Y'all tell Bill Collector. Everybody saying Bill Collector. But Bill Collector was hot at one point. Everybody saying Bill. A lot of people saying Bill. Chilla? Chilla been high for a minute. Chilla definitely been high for a minute. All right, y'all, but listen. I'm sorry. My show got to come to an end. You know what I'm saying? These niggas ain't paying me enough money to stay on here all this time. I did an hour and a half with y'all. Um, You know, caffeine, if you want me to stay on a little longer, you know, just the money. The money. Okay, cool. Um, But listen. Real talk, if y'all fuck with, with my show and what we talked about and all the shit we talked about and it was entertaining to y'all, please let me see some props so I can know that, you know what I'm saying, I can keep doing what, what I'm doing, drop some props, if y'all if really, really fuck with me, if y'all don't, then I gotta go back to the drum board, but I think this show was fucking fire, we talked about everything we need to talk about, I gave y'all my real honest opinion on everything and I ain't hold nothing back, you heard, you heard, but... As you see, I played the me and Dave East joint in the beginning of the uh, of the battle. I mean, the battle. Look at me. Nigga drunk. Man, this is some bullshit. But I played me and Dave East joint in the beginning. Um, I want to play another joint off my um, my EP, No Weirdos That Just Dropped. 
And you know what I'm saying? Just in case y'all haven't saw it or y'all haven't saw what I'm doing and shit like that. So let's get into it. You know what I'm saying? While we get out of there. Yeah. Fuck with y'all. I mean, growing up, I sold drugs like any other kid trying to make it. Peace! What you do? Growing up, I ain't have a pot to piss in. That's what led me from that block up to that kitchen. Through the coke sales, I gotta stay optimistic. But when you pour, your only thought is I gotta get it. By 25, I was selling pies. Swore she got poked in them. I saw the pain in my mother's eyes. All the youngins on the jail pulled. I hear they mother cry. Living life like they wanna die. Neutral when you went in, but you blood when you come inside. Or you trip, nigga. Whatever to get equipped. Was worried about who looked better up in the whip. If I knew what I know now, my credit would have been a shit. Bought some foreclosures, houses for me to flip. But if your parents wasn't taught that, how they gonna teach you shit? Just some food for the brain. It either fall through the fork or get a spoon full of pain. I'm gone. I ain't wanna be like Mike. My role model was a nigga selling dope. I wanted to be like ghosts. Yeah, I wanted to be like ghosts. I ain't want no friends like Tommy. Cause that nigga will get you smoked. I wanted to be like ghosts. Yeah, I wanted to be like ghosts. They say your money ain't good money. So you'll get a call from me. Don't look for me. When I was young, it was rubber bands and drug money. And that was the counts and scammers, the new drug selling. Trickin's the new tipping. Bartenders, the new stripping. Dresses, the new fashion. Should I guess mumbling's the new rapping? I'm like, what happened? I gotta take notes. Players get old, I guess the game don't. Social media's the new going out. Getting blue checks for being naked, keep showing out. They do Molly, they do pills. Being phony's the new real. Just some food for the brain. It either fall through the fork or get a spoon full of pain. I'm gone. I ain't wanna be like Mike. My role model was a nigga selling dope. I wanted to be like ghosts. Yeah, I wanted to be like ghosts. I ain't want no friends like Tommy. Cause that nigga will get you smoked. I wanted to be like ghosts. Yeah, I wanted to be like ghosts. If you ever wanted to know what $21,000 looks like in a single month, this is what it looks like. Just got a knock at the door and got a package in the mail. Anna and I just got this package. That's my name, Matthew Stillman, right there. So, made $4,500 last.